Chubby's Gene, and behind me you'll see that I got a wall with just some tape up. And what I'm going to be doing is looking through Recon 3D today and looking at the field of view and how much I capture per some given distance away from this wall. And the reason that's important is a lot of times people, when they are scanning something, they're really close to an object. At least that's what I'm finding. They're getting too close. They don't need to be that close. They can be farther away, capture a wider field of view, and you know, do more scanning more efficiently. So what I've got here, let me just point it this way, is I've got a marker here at the center. This is the zero point, okay? So I'm calling this just zero. And then I've got basically two feet over, which is about 60 centimeters or so. And then I've got, you know, four feet over here from this zero marker. I've done the same thing on this side. So I've got a two foot and a four foot marker. So in total, if I go all the way back here like this, you'll see that I have about an eight foot uh, section of wall. Okay, so going that way. Also, I should note that from top to bottom there, so basically from the, the ground all the way to the top, that's eight feet, okay? So floor to ceiling is eight feet as well. So I'm gonna use that as a guide. And what I'm gonna do is uh, fire up Recon 3D and then basically move farther and farther away to see what is it that I capture when I'm in portrait and when I'm in landscape. Right now I have the camera in landscape mode, but I'm not in Recon 3D. And we're gonna see what the differences are in terms of what I capture. So let's have a look and that might give you an indication as to what you wanna do when you are capturing a car or a building or a room. Now on the floor here, what I've done is I've also put some markers here. So I've got a tape measure and I've marked two feet. I've got one meter, four feet, six feet, two meters, eight feet, three meters, 10 feet, 12 feet, four meters, 14, 16 feet, five meters, and then 18 feet. So I'm gonna go this far back. We'll see what I capture. And uh, let me just switch over here and we'll fire things up. All right, so I'm just gonna get Recon 3D going here. I've got a project. I'm just gonna use the default. I actually don't really wanna scan anything. I just wanna look through the lens here, uh, look at the screen and then see what it is that I'm capturing. So I'm gonna be on standard mode. Just, I'm not really worried about the settings. I'm just gonna hit save. And this way I can see, you know, through the field of view here, through the camera. So I'm gonna start up close and I'm at the two foot mark. So let me just go down here. If I point below me, you'll see that that's the two foot mark. That's one meter, and then that's the four foot mark. So when I'm holding the camera this way uh, in portrait, I don't see anything. Uh, I don't see the two foot marker. So let me see how far back I need to go. I'm gonna go a little bit further back, a little bit further back, a little bit further back. Okay, so if I point this this way, so I'm now at the eight foot mark, and I can see two feet on other side. So I can see two foot that way, two foot that way. So right now, eight, eight feet, if I point it down, you see that's my eight foot marker. Okay, and basically you'll see that I got four feet from the two on that side and two on that side. So it looks like it's a ratio of uh, two, to, uh, two to one. So if I'm eight feet away, then I capture basically, you know, four feet this way. Let me keep going back and let's see when I get to the, get the whole wall. So um, I got the whole wall right now, right about there, let's see. So that's about the, let me see. Now let me go a little bit further back. Yeah, for sure now I've got it. So I'm at the, that's eight feet. And yeah, sure enough, I'm at about a 15 feet or so. Let me see, I'm at about 15 feet. Let me go right to the 16, I'll show you what I get. So that's about, well, that's actually it's five meters right there. Okay, so 16 feet and I know for sure I'm getting eight feet across the wall. So basically eight feet across the wall that way. Now, of course, you can see from top to bottom, I'm doing much better than the eight feet, so from floor to ceiling. So let me do this again, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this into landscape mode and see what we capture this way. Okay, so now obviously things change. Let me move back, let me move back. Okay, so I'm at the four foot mark right now, and you can see that uh, uh, four foot mark on the floor, and you can see that on the wall, I'm getting two feet to the left, two feet to the right. So that's almost like a one-to-one -one right there. If you're one meter away, you capture at least one meter wide. Let me go back to, let's see here. Uh, let me go to 10 feet. So I should be able to see, yeah, sure. Yeah, let me go to eight feet then. Eight feet, I get eight feet. So I can see all the markers on the left and on the right. So if I move all the way back and I go to five meters, just over 16 feet, then that's what I should get. And it makes sense because that wall there is eight plus that little piece and this little piece, um, for sure I'm getting about 16 feet across or about five meters. So in that case, the relationship there is one to one. So the question is, what do you do when you're scanning? So let me rotate this again like this. 
So if I'm up and, you know, I have something in front of me and I want to scan this wall, if I'm, like right now, I'm only four feet away from the wall, you see that I get about two feet from the marker over to the two-foot marker. That's um, not a lot. It's really not a wild field of view, at least this way. So for this wall, I can easily go back. Remember, the sensor is good up until about five meters. Now, I wouldn't push it all the way to five meters, but even if you're at like the three meter mark right here, this is not a bad spot for scanning these walls. It's not close and I actually capture part of the floor which is great because I, I get some texture to hold on to and I see more of the ceiling and the corners and such so this is a perfectly good spot for scanning. Now there is a relationship between the resolution that you choose on the uh, scanner settings or on Recon 3D settings and how far you need to be. So let me just do that. Let me go to create a new scan and you'll see the scan density. Okay so this is what matters. So if I'm at about a five uh, millimeter resolution, I'm actually fine at about, you know, two to three meters away. So, you know, somewhere, you know, around uh, eight feet or so. That's not a problem. Um, however, if I, you know, change that to a two millimeter setting or a one millimeter setting, in that case, I can scan from far, but I'm not going to be able to achieve a two millimeter resolution. So in that case, I have to move closer in, in order to get those finer resolutions. Now, what happens when I move close? Well, I see less of the wall. So if I see less of the wall, it means I need to spend more time scanning so that I basically get the whole wall uh, and I don't forget any holes or, or don't leave any holes or anything like that. But the other problem is that when you get really close is that you run into these areas where there is no texture. It's just a flat white wall. Whereas when when I move really farther back, I have more to hold on to. I can see the edges and corners and part of the tiled floor on the bottom. That is going to help me get a better reconstruction. So bottom line is, depending on what it is that you're scanning, the kind of details that you're getting, the kind of texture that's on the surface, that will help you determine how far you need to be. In most cases, a lot of people move really close when they don't need to be. You can move a few steps back, give it a scan, see what it looks like. And then if you're really worried, you know, take a few steps forward and then take another scan, but you should get plenty of data, even when you're two meters, uh, you know, six, seven or eight feet away from a surface. Okay, so I, I've decided to try a little experiment here. I'm just in front of this uh, pillar here outside the building. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan from about, let's see, one, two meters back. Okay, and you can see what I catch. And what I'm going to use is the default setting. So let me go back. I'm going to create a scan. I'm going to create this one. I'm going to go to five millimeters. That's the, usually what I say is the standard. And my depth of reconstruction, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll go to five meters. That's usually a, a standard. And uh, let me just switch that back. Okay. And no target detection or anything. We're just looking at the quality of the data and the kind of scans that you're going to get at different distances. So I'm going to go ahead and go save. And let's do a quick scan here. So I'm going to go ahead and start scanning. I'm gonna go down I'm gonna move like this just like that okay we're at five millimeters you can see I get a lot of uh, good uh, points there that are being connected and I'll just go up to the top like that and that's good enough for me okay and back down get some overlap and good enough stop that okay so that was about two meters away but I'm gonna save that one for later I'm gonna create another one and this one, we're gonna leave back at five. Okay. And same thing with the depth of reconstruction. We're gonna save that. So I'm gonna to go to about four meters now. So I'm gonna go another couple steps back. So I'm at about four meters right now and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and go scan. So I'm scanning there. I'm gonna go side to side. Now you can see right off the bat, I'm covering a much larger field of view. So you see the points up top are getting picked up, right? And I'm just kind of rotating around. I pick up a lot more data this way. So just a couple of scans, a little bit, and I'm gonna stop that one. Great. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go further back now and we're gonna create a new scan and I'm gonna slide this back to five. Okay, I'm gonna take my depth of reconstruction. Now on this one, I'm gonna go a little bit more, okay? Cause I may be a little bit beyond five meters. Okay, so I'm gonna go, you can see what I'm, where I'm standing here. There's my feet and I'm gonna go back another couple of meters. So I might be at about six meters right now. So let me go ahead and hit scan. So same thing, I'm just gonna go side to side here, make sure that I'm picking up some good angles. Okay, I'm not really too concerned, but 
you obviously pick up a lot more of the wall farther away. And okay, I think that's good. We're gonna stop here. And there we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that for later. I'll let that process and we're gonna show you what the scans look like at the different distances so you can understand what the scan quality is like and what the point density is like too. So let's go check that out. Okay, so I've got all the scan data processed and looking at my screen from left to right, we have the, the two meter, we've got the four meter and the approximately six meter distance and you're, you're looking to see, you know, what it is that I'm picking up. So upon, you know, sort of first inspection, you can see right off the bat, because I was very close, I had a very small field of view and that field of view means that I pick up less uh, around, you know, this pillar. So if we zoom in here, let's just have a close look at some of the details of the scan. And if, as I go in here, you start to see the points breaking up. Let me make these a little bit larger so we can see them. Okay. So if you look at the point spacing, it has made an approximate five millimeter spacing on the uh, brick here. And as you go back out, you can see that, you know, it looks, looks pretty good. It's, it's, that's not bad at all. Moving over to where I scan from four meters. If you get close, so again, you can see we got about a five millimeter spacing. And again, you know, it doesn't look like, you know, night and day or that we're picking up a lot more features or anything else. It looks pretty good there. And then let's move over to the six meter. And if I move up here, okay. So in this one here, you can see being six meters away, I'm still picking up the brick, but you'll notice that it's not as crisp here. So if you look at this data here, just around some of the edges and things like that, um, you look over here, it looks a bit more crisp here. So this looks like the sweet spot right here, right about four meters. You know, that's not too bad. Three meters, four meters, that's pretty good. And then when we get really close, you can see here we're picking up more details. So these little edges here are much more crisp. And that probably has something to do with the video picking up higher details. You know, the pixel resolution is much better on the video. So when it colors the point data, it's uh, a little bit more crisp. I can't say that for sure, but that is a, you know, just a theory here. And that's very typical of photogrammetry. You can pick up something from farther away, but of course you have less pixels. And so that's kind of what is happening. However, you can see that there's not a massive difference between the three. And so for that reason, if you're trying to pick up an area, a wider space, it's better to go farther away. You'll pick up more data. You can move faster for sure. And there's less chance of you losing tracking or getting these doubled uh, scans. Okay. So like basically where it breaks apart at some point and it thinks that, you know, you have two walls or two doors of something, things along those lines. So moving farther away, wider field of view is going to be much better. Okay. That does it for this one. Thanks a lot, folks. Hopefully you learned something. Take care. Bye-bye.